Hey guys, how's it going? It is my different username here, and today I am finally bringing another Counter-Strike weapon, and this time, it's actually a gun. In fact, this gun is one that you can purchase for $1,400, has a rate of fire of 750 rounds, and also has one of the biggest magazines in its class. And I gotta say, I really can't wait to get into it, so here we have the LEGO PP Bazon Submachine Gun. So, the PP-19 Bazan, or the Pistolet Polemiot Model 19, is a Russian-made submachine gun manufactured by Izmatch, which is a Russian company, and has been in production since 1996. So, based on the design in the game, and by the amount of round set you can hold, you can clearly tell that this gun is chambered in 9x18 Makarov, because other models where it's chambered in 9x19 can only hold up to 53 rounds, while the one in the game can hold 64. I think it's pretty obvious what one of the biggest selling points of this gun is, and it's the giant tubular magazine that you see here. So, just like it says, holds 64 rounds. They're all loaded in through a spiral system on the inside, and that's uh, funny, as you can tell, I actually modified one of my hinge pieces in the front so I can reload the weapon just like you would in real life. And as far as the rest of the magazine, not too much detail, it's completely smoothed out, except for the section on top. and. I don't know, I like it, it's pretty cool and it's realistic to how the actual model looks, which is really nice. Now let's talk about the other side of the gun, and that includes the triangle stock that you see right here, which is surprisingly more sturdy than you would have ever imagined. Uh, unfortunately though, I could not smooth out the pieces on the triangle stock, you can thank the magazine for that one. Uh, besides that, so the stock is actually held together, it's a foldable stock, and it can be released by a single pin on the right side from that point once you release it it will swivel around and as you can tell it can move up and down there's a reason for this why it's so loose and that's so we can pivot it upwards into the other pin on the left side and then from there you can actually use the gun while this stock is you know folded up it's it's really cool like all you need to do is just adjust your grip on the magazine and you're good if we take a closer look at the gun you can see it has a side rail mounted on the left side this is normally for optics, but being this is CSGO, that's not a problem. It has a magazine release and a trigger that functions as well. Now, if we go to the side of the handguard, you can see these little, like, uh, bumps that actually extend all the way to the receiver of the gun. Now, this is cool because the handguard is actually three studs wide, while the receiver is four studs. I was able to do this due to some pins, a rubber band system, and the rear sight holding it all into place on top. So you can tell the rubber band system goes through the middle. And the charging handle is actually interesting because the handle itself is actually positioned in the middle of the bolt itself so that the safety lever here, or the fire selector I should really say, can actually lock the bolt back in place so when it's on safety it doesn't move at all. So guys, that was the LEGO Bazan submachine gun from Counter-Strike. There were definitely a lot of things to include on this weapon, and I'm surprised I made all of these things in such a short time that I did actually building it. And uh, before you guys complain about the iron sights, boom, iron sights. <laughs> because of the fact that it's Counter-Strike, I'm not really too worried about showing off the iron sights too much, but I will say this, now that everything has all been explained about the gun and everything, I think it's finally time to shoot my pee pee. Wow, that sounds really weird saying out loud. So subscribe for more Counter-Strike Global Offensive weapons, like, favorite, and comment if you have enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching.